Hello, what is going on everyone? Thrive here with another Planet Zoo news video. So again, we're continuing up with the um, the, Indi the strange Indiana Jones teaser kind of thing. They're leading to the new DLC officially being revealed. And uh, I waited for two more days of content, or sorry, teases to come out. And uh, well, they finally came out. And especially with the one we got today, I absolutely have to make a video. So. Uh, I'm going to quickly talk about the one yesterday as it's not really important anymore, but it's still worth the mention. So what the one they did yesterday was exploring the temple fervor. You're blown away by the architecture inside. You run your fingers along the carved stone walls when suddenly clunk, you've triggered a trap. You, you quick, you run forward or backwards. And quite frankly, all that, that um, the last thing they keep putting on teasers saying run forward or backwards or crawl or jump or left or right, it's not important. But it's kind of fun, you know, giving people this interaction of a teaser, a very strange teaser at the mo uh, at the least. Um, but anyway, though, if you didn't already see the last two teasers, basically we saw these kids run into a rat at a jungle, a jungle, sorry, heading their way into a temple, and then they're actually in the temple, and they they have to crawl or jump between these two things, and now they're being, in this new picture, lo looks like they're being attacked by, again, more Indiana Jones kind of um, style of. Uh, traps. It, it's it's interesting. It's it's a very interesting way of teasing this new DLC. Um, now, I also noticed that there's not a there's no new pieces in all these teasers, which is quite unfortunate. It all just appears to be the same stuff. Like as you can see, the arrows that they're using to point at the kids in this in this trap is um it's just um uh, it, it's a uh, I know what it is. It's a decoration piece in the game. It's like this hanging arrow thing, and uh, they just used it as. Um, you know, a dangerous weapon in the game. I get it, I get it, but I'm not seeing anything new, and that's, that was a little concerning. I started getting worried that this wasn't a DLC, but I know it is, so I just have to, I, I just had to be patient, and luckily that patience paid off with today's new DLC teaser, the one that we all have come to the video for. We have officially revealed um, a new animal in this in this new teaser, so here we go. Here's the teaser, and with this they said, Running as fast as you can, you have evaded the trap. Breathless, you come to a stop in a large room. Lit by the strange golden glow, a, a large statue towards you, tor um, towers over you, sorry. What could this be? So this may be towards the very end of the teaser whole thing. I mean, I imagine we're about to get it revealed tomorrow. Um, now, what this statue is, is pretty obvious. Again, they're not like fully revealing what it is, but it's obvious so we're gonna do a little speculating because there's four options to this new animal and and it is a statue depicting an animal that's going to be in the game that's how we know it's it's a, it's a, it's going to be one of the dlc animals and i'm sure there's going to be more but basically of the um of the statue we're looking at we can determine it's going to be one of four animals and it's great first off i want to say that finally a new animal teaser um and it is clearly either a llama a guanaco, an alpaca, or lastly, a uh, the uh, Kenya, the Ken, um, the Kenna, something like that. So I've looked at all of these just to be sure. And so let's actually let's eliminate some of the candidates because obviously it's depicting one of those, and we know one of them are about to be in the game. But to eliminate some, we can probably go ahead and eliminate the Vicuña, uh, I believe it was. It. I'm having a hard time pronouncing it for some reason, but they're the strangest looking one. They're not domesticated, really. Um, I, be I believe they they've been in captivity, of course, but they're just not... They're pretty obscure, and I highly doubt that's what Frontier would go with. And plus, the ears are especially what gives away what um, what the four it is. And this guy, the, the like the Cunha, does not really have the tall ears that the statue is depicting. So we can go ahead and eliminate them. The other candidate that I don't believe also has a chance is, um, it would have to be the alpaca. Now, uh, alpaca would make more sense compared to the other two in terms of, I mean, they're, they're very common zoo animals, uh, along with the llama, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, and I would say that has a that has a chance of joining the game one day, but here looking at the statue, I don't think it actually is the alpaca. The neck is too skinny to be the alpaca. The ears are also not as tall. The alpaca ears are just not... Um, the last two candidates have had absolutely the tallest ears, so alpacas are most likely not what we're looking at here. And that's unfortunate, but that's okay because we actually have two more that are really awesome candidates. The other one is the guanaco which is what most people assume this to be. It, I will admit, it has a really close stature. Uh, um, sorry, um, 
yeah, really close uh, depiction to the statue. You can see it has a tall neck, like the statue says, and the ears are definitely tall enough, so it's just between that and the absolute classic llama. Now, the neck of the llama is a bit thicker than the guanaco and may not make it this animal. Sorry, this is not a scripted video, but it's a tough it's a tough decision. It's gonna be one of these two, most likely, and I would hope for the llama, simply because it's far more classic, and I've never seen a guanaco in the zoo before. I know they can, and they have appeared in zoos, but llamas are just far more essential, and I would I would prefer a llama, but I could definitely see this being the guanaco, and considering Frontier's history of picking surprising animal choices, or at least the ones that you don't expect, I would not be surprised at the end of the day if this is a brand new guanaco to the game, uh, uh, yeah, new animal, and I'm sure there's more animals, of course, but... It, it really depends. What do you guys think? Is this a llama, a guanaco, or the um, less likely alpaca or vicuña? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Now, one thing that does concern me about this is the fact that if it is, I mean, it's obviously one of these animals, and they are located up in the Andean Mountains, which is South America, so we know this is going to be a South American-esque theme. Now, it, they could be doing an entire South American theme and focusing on many regions of South America, hence the Andean Mountains being represented here, which hopefully is the case, because then they'll still do the jungle with the jaguars and whatnot, but if they are specifically focusing on one location in South America, which I guess would be Andean, things like the jaguar would not be a candidate, because they don't live there. And that would be really unfortunate, but it would be interesting. Interesting. And if they did go with Andean, at least I there's a good chance we'd get the spectacled bear, which are one of my favorites. So, you know, win lose, we'll see. Not well, um, lose win, yeah, something like that. Um, so we'll just yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, hoping. I mean, obviously we now know it is South America, and it does get me really really excited because it's just it's more more flesh and blood we need to the game that we were lacking in. What do you guys think? Is this going to be like an overall South American DLC or is it going to be focusing on a certain region of the game? What do you believe? And again, what do you believe this animal exactly is? The guanaco or the llama? Or the other two? So that's about it guys. Quick news video. Sorry I kind of got jambled up there talking about the four animals. Not a scripted video. Um, but anyway though, again, thank you all so much for watching this video. We'll stay tuned for more teasers tomorrow. And I can also let you guys know that I will be bringing you guys some early content on this DLC. We'll talk about it when it comes time. Along with a giveaway that I'm planning out right now. So stay tuned for that. But anyway though, for the last time, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.